coming to the stage. Can't wait to see him perform. Sean Gales! What's up, Lakeland? Hello. Very excited to be here in the land of our Lord and Savior, the great Brady fucking Judd. Now, uh, I know this is probably a disappointment, but I am not Pablo Escobar's gay little brother. And I know what y'all are thinking, and the answer is no. I won't be chilling on Memorial Boulevard selling blowjobs of cocaine later tonight after the yes. show. <laughs> Don't come looking for me, all right? <laughs> now, what I am, I should tell y'all, is a piece of shit, okay? Aww. Now, if my outfit choice or my mustache hasn't already told you that, <laughs> just know that I've been chilling in this back alleyway for hours with two of my best friends, uh, shitty tequila, and Mountain Dew Baja Blast. <laughs> now the crazy thing about it is, I don't even have to go to Taco Bell to get my Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Once you reach this level of douchebaggery, yeah. they will send cases of that shit to your house for free, okay? <laughs> Seriously, you push a couple old people, scream at your girlfriend in public, get a few DUIs, Mountain Dew will fucking sponsor you. You can do the deal, okay? <laughs> now, uh, I don't really know what's going to make you guys laugh. I'm not from here. I didn't uh, grow up in Florida. I didn't get to do all the cool st stuff you guys do as kids growing up, all right? Like, I I've never wrestled an alligator. Right. And no one's ever asked me to leave Publix. Um, I've never starred on an episode of Live PD. And I've never done meth on purpose. <laughs> I've never narcan either of my parents, and I was not raised by my grandparents, so I'm sorry we probably don't have much in common, but I'll try to find a way to make this shit funny for y'all anyway, all right? Now, let's let's find some common ground here. Anybody in the crowd got sisters? Any of y'all got a sister? Oh, awesome. Yeah, I grew up with three of them, and that shit fucking sucks, I'll tell you that, all right? Now, it's funny, because they're all different ages, and IQ levels, and attitude levels, and weights, but... They're all extreme and utter whores. Like, each one of my sisters is a whore, okay? But they're different kinds of whores. It's levels to it. Like, we've got my young sister, the youngest, for instance. She is what I would call, like, the cool whore, all right? She was voted prom queen in high school. She's a lot of fun, very, you know, all the dudes are trying to get with her and stuff, but she probably won't give you the time of day. But if you subscribe to her... OnlyFans or her <laughs> fitness page on Instagram, you could see a picture of her butthole. Oh. Now, pretty sure that makes her a whore. Now, next we've got my oldest sister. She is the problematic whore or the, the attitude whore. She's like what we like to call a, an attention whore. She will do anything to get attention. She doesn't care if it's positive or negative. She'll burn a school down or she'll get straight A's. As long as you're talking about her, that's fine. And she wants to be included in every conversation. She wants to be a victim. She wants to be part of every community. Like she uh, she finger banged a chick freshman year of college okay. just so she thought she had to be included now in every LGBTQI, all the letters, all the letters conversation for the rest of her life. And I'm sorry, but like, I think she's got to do more. Like, literally, I had to eat, I had to fucking eat ass to get the, the crabs on my mustache. Like, the least she can do is, like, put on a strap and peg somebody. Like, earn your stripes, bitch. Like, do something for real, you know? Like, none of that fake You're not shit. wrong. Yeah, exactly. And lastly, we've got my middle sister, and this one's my favorite. She's what I like to refer to as a war whore. Now, my sister, one day, her and her Bush had a conversation. And like the great Bush presidents we had, they love the fucking military, okay? So my sister, she's she's a goal getter, she's a dream chaser. She decided, I'm going to fuck the entire armed forces. Okay. And she just Googled military base near me, moved pretty close nearby, and she walks onto that bitch like she's playing Pokemon. Because if it's a dick and an orifice, she's got to catch it. <laughs> like, the thing is, though, you think I'd be like, you know, a 
ashamed of that or something? No, I salute my sister. I'm proud of that bitch, okay? My sister's mouth alone has done more for the for our troops than the USO could ever fucking do, okay? I'm pretty sure her butthole is federally funded. <laughs> my sister is the definition of a military team exercise, alright? <laughs> Seriously, but she's got some stipulations and some standards. Like, this is where it gets a little weird. Like, my sister, for instance, if you have, don't have at least, like, uh, four domestic violence charges, <laughs> three failed marriages, uh, two DUIs, and at least a couple dead brown kids under your belt, like, she ain't going to You know, she does have some standards, I guess. You could say that. But like I said, I salute her because she she really does a lot for our country. Like we should all try to be more like my sister. We all need to be dream chasers and go out there and get it. You know, like me I'm out here, I'm trying to chase my dreams. I, I moved down here from Michigan, okay? And uh in Michigan I worked on a pot farm. <laughs> I swear to God, and it was a lot of fun for a long time. I worked for my best friend's uncle. But he was a cool uncle, okay? Not one of those, can you keep a secret and then wake up with a thumb in your ass all this. Like, <laughs> like, you know, good advice and stuff like that. But the thing is, uh, what's the word to describe him? He is what I would call, I don't know if this word's cancelable yet, but he's what I would call a crazy redneck. Now, I know there's someone in the back like, hey, motherfucker, I was in that. And I'm sorry, but maybe you can find me after the show on Memorial, you know, we'll talk about it. But uh, I worked for this guy for a long time. He's a crazy-ass redneck, and his house is like a hillbilly paradise. It's halfway between, like, a uh, PETA member's nightmare and an outdoorsman's dream. There's fucking dead animals everywhere. He's got boats. He's got ATVs. He's got RVs. He's got labs, he's got chocolate labs, he's got yellow labs, he's got dab labs, he's got meth labs. Like there might be a Wuhan virus lab somewhere on that motherfucker's property, but I ain't never seen it. Now, the thing is, I fucking hate wearing pants, okay? Now, I will wear shorts. Don't go put me on the fucking list, but I, I hate wearing pants, okay? So I wanted to find out a way to make it so I didn't have to wear pants anymore. Little I don't, did I know when you do comedy, you have to wear fucking pants. But I, I wanted to move to Florida. That was the thing. And I said to myself, how is a degenerate, uneducated piece of shit like myself going to be able to support myself down here in Florida, be able to move down here and be able to live? Guess what, guys? If you are fully like the R word, you can get your class A CDL pretty easy, all right? So that's what I decided to do. I went and I got my class A CDL. Now, I had to break the news to my great mentor, my buddy's uncle, my boss. And I was like, hey, man, fuck these pants. I'm moving to Florida. And this guy, he's like a hillbilly Nostradamus. He thinks he knows everything. He's always got these predictions and shit. He's like, he looks me up and down. He's like, how the fuck are you going to move to Florida? And I said, um, I'm going to drive a semi-truck down there. And he looks me up and down again. He says, I got four guarantees within your first six months of driving truck. Number one, you're going to gain over 50 pounds. Number two, you're going to get an STD from a lot lizard. And that's a prostitute at a truck stop. If you don't know, I had to Google it. And uh, number three, you're going to have hemorrhoids hanging out your ass this long. Oh, my God. And last but not least, number four, you're going to fucking kill somebody. Oh. You know what? He might think he's smart and he knows everything, but I could probably stand before all of you and tell you, guess what? I only gained 45 pounds, so fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I don't know if comedy is really going to work out, but there is one more dream I have, and I've always wanted to play professional basketball. Play growing up and shit, but... I'm, I'm honest with myself. Let's be real. Like, the New York Knicks, never going to happen. But hey, New York Liberty, who fucking knows? Okay? We can follow in the footsteps of our great American heroes. We got a uh, box of Wheaties, Big Bruce, Bruce, Caitlyn Jenner. We got uh, Leah Long Dong Thomas. You seen that bulge? Like, I wish my dick was half her size. Okay? Like, seriously. And I'm pretty sure you could do this shit and still keep your dick. But my question is, how many shots of estrogen do I have to take before I can try out for a WNBA team? And I'm pretty sure I could swat. I could swat, bitch, on a basketball court. I won't hit one, but I'll swat the shit out of one, okay? But I got questions first. Like, how many shots of estrogen? 
And how many shots in do I start losing all sense of rationality and sanity? How many shots in do I start just quoting Lifetime movies and crying all the time? <laughs> like, how many shots until I just, nothing's ever good enough and you can't tell me anything different? I don't know. But like I said, like, if I could keep my dick, I'm down. Sign me up. <laughs> poke me. Poke me. Not with a dick, with a needle. You know? <laughs> but at the same time, the way I look at it, if you give me my own line of signature Jordans, you can chop my shit right off. You can have that. <laughs> like, you give me some Jordans and a couple Subway commercials, I'm good. I'm gold. Let's go. Now, uh, at the end of the day, we all just need to be better Americans, okay? Like, uh, we all just need to do better and try harder, like my sister. And uh, I'm going to try to be a better American myself. So, like, if, if you didn't like what I said up here or if I offended you or anything like that, I'm just going to stick to the American way and say, go fuck yourself. And if you didn't like that, you know where to find me. on Memorial, Blue Dogs, and Cocaine. Thank you, guys. Alright, just two more comics left.